Hello everybody and welcome on After Effects Tips and Treats. So in order to create a box that will be automatically adapted to your text, you need to center your text with the source rect at time expression. And if you don't know about it, you can watch my first video on my channel. Next, you need to create your box and it could be whatever tool you want and whatever box form you want. I'm going to take a rounded rectangle, but it's as you like. We draw the rectangle, it creates a shape layer, and I'm going to center the layer in the transform of the rectangle with 0, 0, parenting the layer to the text, put it behind, and in order to be sure that it's always will be centered with the text, I'll add a little expression on the position parameter of the layer, I'll click the chronometer, and here we go. What this expression does is basically matching the position of the shape layer to the anchor point of the transform menu of the layer index minus one. The index is this number, so minus one. It is the layer just beside of this composition. And now you got a box that will follow the text, whatever the text will do. But its size won't adapt to your text. In order to do that, we will go in the contents of the shape layer in the rectangle, rectangle pass, and add an expression to the size. So I'll click the chronometer and the expression goes like this r equal this comp dot layer parenthesis index minus one close parenthesis dot source rect at time parenthesis semicomma and in brackets r dot width comma r dot eight close the bracket and now your box is exactly the size of the text box, which is kind of ugly. So we need to add some margins. I will select the shape layer, add some effects, expression controls, and I'm gonna add two slider controls, calling the first H margin and the second V margin, for horizontal and vertical. I'm going to add to my expression a few lines. So I'm going to say h m equals h margin, semicomma, and v m equal the vertical margin, semicomma. And in the brackets, I would add Harrods plus h m, r heights plus v m. And I can control my margin. I can even round my rectangle more if I like to. And no matter what I will do to my text, the box will follow. So here it goes. Hope you liked the tip and excuse my French.